Hello, and welcome to my construction site. Okay, so I got us moved to a slightly more aesthetic area. You can see some of my beautiful plants, but that's not what this video is about. If you saw my last video about RV living, which I will link up here, you may remember there was a brief moment where I talked about having condensation in the RV during the winter. Some of which I think is unavoidable, um, and we just live in like a really damp area in the winter time. But I think I may have found an issue that was contributing to our moisture. Fun story, earlier this week, I did my normal morning routine and I got up and I took my shower and was getting ready for work. And I just happened to walk outside and go behind our trailer and there was just water pouring out the back of our trailer. And it wasn't like a little drip, drip, drip. It was like, gushing and of course I immediately went and turned the water off and had a little panic attack and realized we probably had a big issue with our water heater that has gone unnoticed for god knows how long. So our first order of business was to inspect and remove the water heater so we could see what the heck is really going on here. We were able to get the water heater out. It took, it probably took a couple hours. We had to buy an extra tool so we had the right socket to um, get the anode out. Anyways, we were able to get the darn thing out of there and it became really apparent that it's been leaking for a long time. And we just didn't know because it wasn't visible to us. And we didn't think to like check regularly. It was also really not, not that easy to tell because the tank itself was surrounded in styrofoam and I had to peel back the layers of styrofoam to see the amount of rust, the massive amount of rust all over the tank. And the sides are actually kind of flimsy. So it seems like the tank just rusted out and probably had a number of little holes that were just leaking, leaking water until it got bad enough to where I saw it actually pouring out of the bottom of our trailer. So unfortunately, some of our subfloor was so, so wet, so wet, just soaked all the way through but it's only on like the back corner of our trailer where the water heater was located. When bad things happen, you have to count your blessings. So something I'm tremendously grateful for and one way that we really lucked out is that we have a couple neighbors that are amazing carpenters and they immediately jumped on it and wanted to help us. The very first order of business was to tear out the old flooring, which is just like a sheet of vinyl or whatever type of material it is that you roll out. So we tore that up and my neighbor, Edgar, who's amazing, got in there, determined what parts we really needed to cut out of the, of the subfloor, cut out some subfloor. Fortunately, the baseboards are just fine. They're great quality. And we started replacing parts of the subfloor that we could get to. Because our neighbors are carpenters, they also had extra flooring from a project they were doing. So just last night, we started putting in the new flooring. And I think so far, it looks great. It's not finished. I'm gonna spend the rest of the day working on this project with my neighbor and Andre has to go to work later. Um, but needless to say, <laughs> this was something totally unexpected. And that's what happens when you own things. It could be a car, it could be a bike, it could be your home, it could be a trailer. Things come up and things happen. Um, even when you're doing your best to be, to be vigilant, problems can still arise. So. Just you try to roll with the punches and hopefully you have some people around you that are able to support you and help you out. Today, I'm gonna to be focused on getting this done and I hope I can make an update video and share with you all the progress and our new floor and how we're managing our new water heater installation and all that fun stuff. But for now, I'm gonna work on this project, get it done today, and I won't be able to finish my next cooking video quite yet. I was planning on doing that this weekend, but those plans, pff, out the window. Cooking video is coming though. I'm really excited about it because I'm doing a comparison between the shopping that I did in 2020 and the shopping that I'm doing now in 2022 and trying to recreate some of the recipes I made earlier on using ingredients and their prices today. So. I think it's gonna be really good and I can't wait to have that made for you guys, but I'm sorry that it's not quite done yet because I'm having to replace subfloor and a water heater and do crafty things that I've never done before. Please let me know if you have any RV water heater tips or maintenance tips, I'm gonna need those. <laughs> 
And I'd also love to hear about other videos that you're interested in seeing on this channel. Before you go, let me show you some video of my amazing garden. Our hot water heater, I think our hot water heater is busto. Glorious. It's gonna be a pain to fix this. It'll be a pain. Shut off gas supply and disconnect gas supply line from water heater. Flower, what do you think of the new floor? Fall asleep if you like it. Close your eyes and snore like a bunny if you like the new floor. <laughs>